I'm dressed up. Why? Because Spider-Man Homecoming. Why else would I be dressed up? No. Spider-Man. So the new Spider-Man Homecoming trailer has hit us. In fact, by new, I mean first, because it's the only Spider-Man Homecoming trailer we have, and it starts out pretty rad. These guys are robbing a bank, so you're like, oh, it's like Dark Knight, but they're all dressed, they have their Avengers masks on, and he's like, you're not the Avengers, and then he just, like, wastes them all because he's Spider-Man. Really, what I love about this trailer is it does give the vibe of one of those Hughes-ish movies where there's kids in school, and he's dorky, and he's nerdy, and he's trying to find his place, and we all love that. It's like Edge of Seventeen, you know, by the way, he's a superhero. You see the vibe of it, and I'm like, yep, that's why I love Spider-Man. And there were some people out there who were scared, like, well, is Tony Stark going to eclipse the fact that this is a Spider-Man movie? It looks like Tony Stark is straight up support. Coolest Alfred ever. I'm just saying. Peter Parker's like, how do you become an Avenger? And Tony Stark's like, just don't do what I would do and don't do what I wouldn't do. Somewhere in there is a gray area. And he leans over and Peter Parker thinks he's hugging him. So Peter Parker hugs him. He's like, I'm just getting the door. Basically get the fuck out. In a world of getting hits on YouTube, puppies! Thank you, buddy. I do love that Peter Parker has a friend who knows he's Spider-Man, like out the gate. This dude comes home and he's like, you're the Spider-Man. He's like, no, I'm not. As far as the costume, he's like, you were on the ceiling. No build up. This is not like his friend's gonna find out in movie two or three. No, this dude knows because Peter Parker needs support because he can have someone to rift off of when Tony Stark frustrates this kid and he's like, oh, he treats me like a kid. And so he has his, his cohort because we all had that friend, man. That friend who knew all our secrets. You gotta have that friend who knows you stash your spidey suit. Spidey suit. And Michael Keaton has Vulture where he's like, Don't mess with me or I'll kill you. And Beetlejuice. But I love Michael Keaton and he's a great villain. The best Spider-Man movies out there are the ones that take a shitty, dorky-ass villain and make him cool. Doc Ock is not a cool villain. I don't know what to say. When I was like, he's the villain in the second, that's gonna be stupid. I love the first movie, but are you serious? And I saw the trailer and he just smacks this cab and the cab flips up. I was like, Doc Ock, my might be cool. And this one, the vulture's the same way. It's like the vulture comes down, vulture looks like he's gonna totally wreck, which really makes sense as to why Tony Stark upgrades Spider-Man's suit and gives him the webbing that I guess he's gonna glide with. I mean, if you really look at it, that's not enough to glide. I feel like he's going to hit the ground really fast. But you know, all right, hypothetically, in a world where Captain America's shield does not obey the laws of physics, we'll say the webbing can make him glide. And he's doing that because he's going up against a flying villain who actually looks like he's going to be cool. And the vulture has always been a dork he as felon, except in this movie where he looks cool. So hey, this gives me, I love this. It really showed me what I love about Spider-Man. He's a kid, he's in high school, he's dealing with high school. High school is a very volatile, weird place. You're trying to find your place, and then you have this mentor, all right, this is where it gets a little out of my leg. But <laughs> he has a mentor who he really looks up to and he's like, hey, don't worry, kid, I'll pat you on the head and the Avengers will deal with the vulture problem, it's fine. For some reason they don't because Spider-Man does and Spider-Man sees it as a way for him to prove himself to Tony Stark and the Avengers. Really, it's a great first trailer. I couldn't ask for this trailer to give me anything other than what this trailer gave me. Spider-Man let nerds know that it was okay to be a nerd and even nerds are heroes. I love that, I love this trailer. I wanna know what you think about it. So the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, have you seen it? Whatever you thought about it, comment below. Let me know and as always if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more click right here to see more